Most people in America are looking at how do I make a life worth living in retirement having. You do this by not abusing anyone. When you're caught abusing someone, harassing someone, hating on someone, hurting someone, and molesting and raping someone, you're caught. The people who don't get caught do it again and again until God calls them home and then they've got to stand before the Lord and stand before the Satan and determine in what? Where do you plan to go? Heaven or hell? It's pretty straightforward, you know. That even though Jesus Christ might have just died for your sins in John 3.16, you've continued to do your sins again and again and you just thought you'd end up in heaven. The truth is you're never going to end up in heaven based on what you've been doing so far to me. But it's not my city is something that you might say to me because you just don't think I'm pretty enough for you today. But here's the reality. When you attacked my life, you opened yourself up to the self-defense articles of the American Constitution and the agreements and the amendments as they hold true for all American citizens. And when you attack my life, I have the right to defend myself. But you are such a weaselly coward that you and those who have been attacking my life and screwing around with my computer and invading my rights and developing your ideas for my life never once thought what would happen when self-defense network starts to retaliate on your life. You see, Jesus wrote the program for people and God as global operational defense has a right to rebuke and retaliate against people.